Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Suresh, an English professor. There are wonderful ways to learn English language, but one of the best ways to pick up the language is dictionaries. We got dictionaries as hard copy, we got online dictionaries, we got an uh, application from Play Store, but the best one is that you can just buy an application, you can just install it in your cell phone, you can use it anytime you want. Because you cannot carry the hard copy, the big one, wherever you go. But this one is going to be there in your hand every time you need it. And one of the best features that you have in an application which the hard copy doesn't have is the pronunciation of the word. In the hard copy, you can only find the phonetic transcription, but in an application, you have the speaker symbol next to the word. You just click on that, that will give you exactly how to pronounce that word. That's the best feature. There are so many dictionaries available in the market, starting from Cambridge, Oxford, Merriam Webster's Dictionary and every dictionary has got its own plus and minuses. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about Collins English Dictionary. Now personally I found that compared to any other dictionary it has got some extra features and which will definitely give you a, a boost up to learn the language. For example in this dictionary you can just go ahead and learn the pronunciation of British and American English and you can also learn the vocabulary synonyms and antonyms and you got in every dictionary these features the best one is that you now every example sentence at the end you have a speaker symbol you just hit that button the whole sentence will be read that's the best of the best feature that i found in this dictionary and the second one is that you also have a, a small video uh, as to how the word is pronounced. Now once you click that video for that word, a man will just pronounce it for you. You can just watch it directly in front of your eyes as to how uh, the man or woman uh, pronounces the word. And that's the best thing, okay? Let me just walk you through how to process, uh, how to, sorry, how to access this dictionary in, in online, uh, in your PC, as well as in your laptop. But at the end of the video, I'll also be giving you a tip as to how to use this uh, dictionary in your cell phone without paying any money and that will exactly like be used like the purchased app if you want to go for the purchased app it's almost like $25 approximately and Indian money it costs you somewhere around 1700 rupees if you are afford go ahead and buy it or otherwise I'm gonna give you a tip at the end of the video so keep watching this video come on let's let me walk you through the process PC or laptop I just got my laptop open and open a web browser and in the address bar just type in www.collinsdictionary.com you see there collinsdictionary.com this is the home page of uh, the online dictionary and uh, you got the thesaurus dictionary translator translator means from one language to another language you got some grammar particle as well you have english dictionary french dictionary hindi dictionary and more dictionaries but we are specifically going to english dictionary it's a, it's a default one is the dictionary english dictionary just go ahead and type in any word like okay great you tap on the word, you get the word here, and uh, you have the word, and um, so attitude, you have this pronunciation. Attitude. You have the pronunciation here. Attitude. This is US, this is British. Attitude. British. American and some of the plural attitude um, plural and um, plural attitudes good you have the definition here your attitude to something is the way that you think and feel about it especially when this shows in the way you behave yeah you have some the best things that in case if you don't um, like if you just you know here click here you have the speaker symbol it'll click click here that sentence will be read for you 
Yes, that's one of the greatest features that you do not have in any other dictionary. The other dictionaries will only contain the word and how to pronounce it. But here you have the example sentences. Listen to it. I hope you can hear that. Yes. I don't think it's fair to act, accuse me of having an attitude problem. So this is the uh, definition. You got some example sentence and um, you'll also get some idea as to how to pronounce this word and you can also learn some tonality as well. And uh, look at this, some other synonyms here. Opinion, thinking, feeling, thought. And if you click that, you'll get more synonyms as well. This is another definition here. If you refer to someone as a person with attitude, you mean that they have a striking and individual style of behavior, especially a forceful or aggressive one. So you have the other definition and then uh, attitude of mind. You have this the best feature which the other dictionary doesn't have. Look at that. She will pronounce the word for you. Attitude. Great, she pronounced it twice for you. And uh, so that's you will have for every word. Okay? And then you go down, you got this again, a British pronunciation here. You got the definition and some of the examples you have. A a hostile manner. Don't give me an attitude. Some of the examples. You can also use the word as an adjective as an attitudinal word origin you can find it's a French word uh, first from French from Italian attitudine and then from Latin oh this word is this word was used in almost all the language that you can find the word origin as well then this American English attitude. got some examples go down you got so many definitions and you know, a different type of um, words and different scenario, different context, different meanings. You got plenty of examples as well. So you have got so many uh, expressions. Okay, so you can also have a list here. The term used with um, aviation and ballet, for example, aviation. Got air coordinator, air control. Okay, so that's related to aviation. They go down, down. There you got. You have the other feature like the usage of this word. Look at that. So seventeen, so seventeen oh eight. It was least used. It was at the peak somewhere in 1948 and then slowly coming up towards 2008. We do not have any calculation beyond this, but in 2008 was just a little less compared to 1948, this word. And then here you got another option, how this word is um, pronounced in other language. Or what is the other alternative word in the other language? This is American English. You got this Chinese. You got Danish. You got French. You got Greek. You got Japanese. You got Korean. That's it. You can just go ahead and learn the other equivalent word in other languages as well but not all the languages are listed here only the one that you can see here are the one that you can learn about not any other and then the nearby words the words that you can use uh, close to the same meaning like attitude at that is attitude attitude of mind attitude of attitude problem attitude survey and then related word terms of words you have other examples as well. You can get more list if you go ahead and click on that. And the next option what we got here is you have some uh, quizzes like quick word challenge, question one, blame or fault. This, you know, 
but default you would find, but not specific to the word, you can find something like this. Which version is correct? So this was all Jack's blame. This was all Jack's fault. Okay, the second one. Great, I got it. And then drag the correct answer into the box. We get homework every day. We get assignment every day. We get homework every day. Okay, we got it. I said you can just have fun like this. He seemed ashamed by the question. He seemed embarrassed by the question. He seemed embarrassed by the question. Great, I got it. Fine, this, this will just keep changing. Don't think that you will get exactly the same when you do the next time. And this is the word of the day, 24 April today. And the word of the day is bubble car. In Britain, formerly a small car often having three wheels with a transparent uh, bubble shaped top. Good. So that's called bubble car. Not now, we don't have it available except in exhibition. Okay, great. You got all like one by if you, this, everything you found uh, together. But if you want to go by one by one, you just go to the pronunciation alone. You just go for it. And then you go to the English attitude, some other examples as a noun, the origin, how to use the word as an adjective here, and then American attitude in general, and then example sentences. Got other example sentences. That way you can go. And you cannot just keep on searching every day into the um, you know, website. So what you can do, you can just go here on the right side corner, if you see that. Go to more tools, create shortcut. So once you click on create shortcut, you will have this. So click, press it, and then drag it and put it here. You will have it here. We're just going to go close everything. Yeah, I closed it. And then here, we're going to go open this. Directly, it, come, it will take you to the dictionary part. That's it. It's very easy, pretty simple. Or if you'd like to share this particular word to anybody else, you can share it through Facebook and Twitter. Now, we don't have any option for WhatsApp, but only these two as of now. It's a good, it's good uh, dictionary. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, learn a lot. I just walked to through how to use the dictionary. I explained to you all the features and benefits. Now I told you that I'll be giving you a tip as to how to use the, the dictionary in your cell phone without paying anything, just exactly like the application. Come on, let me just go ahead and walk you through that process as well so that you can also put it in your dictionary, in, uh, in your cell phone immediately. Okay, this is your cell phone. You have an Android or Apple phone, just open. Just open any web browser. Go ahead and type in www.collinsdictionary.com. That's the website link. I will also be giving this uh, website link uh, as well. And go ahead and type in any word, just attitude. You get this word. Yeah, you have the pronunciation like Toy is talking about. Yeah, she will pronounce it for you. Okay, so that's it. You have everything that we saw here. And just here in the middle, you'll find an arrow kind. Just go ahead and click on that. Just scroll up, you have add to home screen. Do you find this? Add to home screen. Go ahead and click on that. And then you will get you will be taken into another page like this. Click on add. That's it. You have here. It's Collins Dictionary. This is another dictionary that I actually downloaded from um, App Store. But here, this is exactly like the app. It's not an ex not exactly an app, but it, it's going to work exactly like an application for you for free. You're not going to buy anything. You have not downloaded anything, and you just go ahead and click on that. That'll work for you. That's it. Any word, you just go ahead and type in your search bar. You hear the search bar? Go ahead and type in any word, like phone. 
click search okay so you got it here and this is the word pronunciation this is the way you're gonna do but the only hiccup is you cannot use it offline you have to be online in order to use this use this um, dictionary link but here if you download from App Store you, can, you may or may not uh, sometimes you know it's free you know you can use it offline uh, for example there's Merriam Webster's dictionary you can use it offline but this one you have to be online but anyway we are online all the time so it's not going to be a big deal so let's go ahead and make a, a home screen button like this and then use the dictionary you're good to go I hope that tip helped you a lot have you downloaded that dictionary in your uh, cell phone? Great! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback, kindly post it in the comment box below. Thanks for watching this video.